Why do people become racists? Well, there is one predominant reason why people become racists. They are searching for something that they currently do not possess. What is that thing? It's understanding. They want to know where they fit in within the world. They want to know where they fit in in relation to the self. And within our present age, the Kali Yuga, where the material body is the foundation of consciousness, the first thing that comes to the awareness of everyone, whether they want to recognize it or not, is the individuated nature of the blood, of the body. So if you're trying to explore meaning outside of the system, the meaningless system, devoid of all awareness, it makes sense that you would look to the body, especially if you come from a Sahasra racial body like white Europeans. White Europeans possess a racial consciousness that is defined by the Sahasra, the crown chakra. They are very solar by nature. And so in order for white people as a race to undergo the yogic process of unification, they must connect with the blood. And this is why racial political movements have been successful within European social bodies. Because, for example, when the German people are offered meaning through unification of the body, there is this inherent attraction that is related to consciousness and exploration of meaning that is granted to this Sahasra race. And so accessing the Muladhara, or the body, which is the adversarial state on a spectrum of consciousness between the Sahasra and the Muladhara, is a natural process of integration. It's interesting, on the flip side, you can look at African racial movements, like Rastafarianism. Africans are a Muladhara racial body. They are very of the earth. And so for them to access the unifying principle, they have to go up to the Sahasra. They have to approach the solar aspect, the waters of heaven. And they do this through the container of the solar culture that surrounds them. This is why Rastafarianism has a very interesting formation of Christianity. Christianity is used by the black Rastafarians in order to access that solar principle that allows them to transcend the racial foundation, the Muladhara foundation of consciousness, and achieve yogic unification. There are examples of this process of the Kundalini of race for every racial group. Now, this can be a healthy process to find meaning in either connection with the blood or connection with the spirit is an important process that everyone should undergo in order to become a fully realized being. However, it can become very self-destructive when negative attachments are applied to these concepts. So for example, white people of a Sahasra racial body may become so enamored by the attraction of the blood that they forget about spirit altogether and they start to embrace things like social Darwinism which lacks any attachment 
any recognition, any awareness at all of spirit. The same can be said for example, African people who go to Christianity as a way to reach the Sahasra and forget about their roots, their bloody African roots, voodoo, black magic, these wonderful earthy traditions, pagan traditions that are lost. And then of course they can become self-destructive, self-hating within that new Sahasra tradition, that attachment they surround themselves with. So the next time you see someone espousing racist ideas, recognize the fact that that person is undergoing a process of exploration and try to help them along to realize a reunification with the foundation. If it's a white person who has become utterly obsessed with the blood, try to remind them of their spiritual foundation. If it's a black person who has lost their roots, lost connection with the earth, and has fallen into the clear light of Christianity or Islam, try to remind them of their blood. Try to remind them of their individuated beauty. This is how we solve the problem of self-destructive racism.